In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to wall mount a TV. I'm gonna show you generic principles on how to wall mount a TV. That way you can just learn from this video, buy whatever mount that you like, and use these principles. Hi, this is Michael with Field Tech Academy. In today's video, we're gonna be mounting a TV to a living room wall. Anytime you're mounting a TV, in a living room setting, people are going to be sitting down. So you don't want the TV to be incredibly high because you don't want people craning their necks to watch the TV. Most of the time, 42 to 48 inches is what you want to go for for the bottom of the TV. The first step is going to be to figure out where the bottom of the TV is going to be based on the wall mount. What I found the best to do is to stage your wall mount on your TV. In this case, I've already applied the plate, and this particular one is a Visa mount, V-E-S-A, and it just goes in the four main holes in the center. A lot of other TV mounts that you'll have will have four bolts on the outer edges. So you're gonna to need to look at your TV to figure out whether it has four tight bolt holes or whether it has four that are further on out. Once you've got your plate on it, you're gonna take your wall mount and you're going to stage it on your plate. This will allow you to get measurements so you know where the bottom of the TV should be. You wanna figure out where the top mounting holes are on the bracket in relation to the bottom of the TV. So in this case, I'm gonna go from here to the bottom of the TV, and I'm going to say that it's roughly 17 inches. So I know that the top mounting holes need to be 17 inches from the bottom of the TV. In this case, I'm gonna do 48 inches to the bottom of the TV from the floor. 48 plus 17 is 65. So I know I need to go from the bottom of the floor to this hole is gonna be 65 inches off of the floor. So I've located the center of my wall where I want to put the center of my TV. Now I'm gonna measure for 65 inches so I know where I need to put the top holes of the bracket. So I want the top bracket to come up to 65 inches. So I can take my bracket and you can see that the bracket itself will be here, but the TV is gonna go 17 inches from here down below. When you're mounting a TV, you've got a couple of options. You can run lag bolts into studs. If this particular location where I want to be doesn't line up, where I don't have a stud in one of these areas, then studs don't do me any good. They are obviously the most secure places that you want to go. This bracket's pretty wide, but again, if this is center, I don't want to have to shift my wall plate over to catch a stud. So we're going to use togglers if we can't line up to a stud. If you're installing an articulating mount, and articulating means that it moves, it's not a static mount, you'll see that this can swing out. Something you might overlook is that this is going to be the center of your TV. So let's say that this was your center point. You don't want to line up your bracket with the center hole on this centering point because the center of the TV is actually over here. This is the spot you want to center. So in theory, it would be here rather than over here, because that articulation mount moves it over slightly. You want to observe that. If you have a standard wall plate that has hooks on it, then that's not such a big deal because you can center that. And most of the ones that have just two arms for brackets, there's movement where you can slide left and right. Whether or not we're going to mount into studs, we want to know where the studs are. If you don't know general construction principles, you need to know that in most cases, an electrical outlet is going to be mounted to a stud. So that's going to be a good point of reference to try to look for studs. I've had a lot of trouble with the generic stud finders. So this is a very simple device that I've found. Got this on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. It is a rare earth magnet stud finder. You've got some sort of stud behind this drywall, and the drywall is attached to the stud with nails or screws. That's where the magnetic stud finder comes into play. You're gonna run along the area that you think, so I know that I've got an electrical outlet down here, so I know that probably somewhere in this area, I'm gonna have stud. So you're gonna look, and right there, I actually found one very quickly, okay? So there's one. Now, I don't wanna make a judgment call based on finding one. I wanna to try to find more than one. Okay, that's in line. So that's going to tell me that I've got a stud running down, and right here, that means that this is probably mounted on the left side of the stud. So the stud is probably right here. Let's look at our mount and see if using a stud is going to be something we can do. So if I know that this is my center on that stud, then I've got this to work with. So I've only got about this far over to catch a stud on the edges. Now obviously I could put 
the center of this into the stud, but getting the edges is going to be kind of challenging. If I were to come over here and try to find another stud, so that is probably going to be too far over to catch my bracket. Because again, if I'm going here for center, my studs over here. So I've got them too separated to really put my edge of my bracket into the stud. That's why we use toggles. Even though we're not going to use the studs, we want to know where they are because we don't want to drill into them accidentally. So by knowing that this is where my stud is, I've pretty much got open drywall here and open drywall here. I've got an electrical outlet below me, so odds are I shouldn't have any electrical on the left or the right side of this. Obviously, whenever we drill and we cut, we're going to be cautious. If we feel something in the wall, we're not going to get aggressive with it until we can identify what it is. If you're not familiar with toggle bolts, this is a toggle bolt. You might look at this and say, well, I want to mount a TV into drywall. These will hold somewhere north of 250 pounds in half inch drywall. Most TVs and the mounts combined are not even going to be 100 pounds. So you can safely mount into drywall using toggle bolts. To use this, what you're going to do is you're going to make a half inch drill bit hole in the drywall. You're going to fold this over so you see how this folds. And when you fold it, this extends but draws this back, however you want to look at it. And then this will go into that half inch hole. Then you will on the outside of the wall. So this will be on the inside of the wall. This is the outside. And we're going to pull it flush like this. And as you can see, when I make this flush, this pulls this straight and you'll pull this against the back of the drywall. Then we'll snap this off and we'll put a bolt in. So I know this is the spot where I'm going to put the top row of my mounting holes. Now I just need to figure out the center where I want to center my mount, which in this case, the homeowner has told me they want the bracket put basically in between this electrical and this coax centered on these. I'm just going to measure this and say, okay, I've got basically 18 inches. I mean, it's 18, slightly under 18, but effectively I've got 18 inches to work with. So nine should be my center point. So this should be our center point. And again, remember, we want to center the TV on this spot. We do this so that when the TV is flush against the wall, it is centered rather than centering it on this, we're centering it on this hook. So I'm gonna to mark top and the bottom of my bracket, and that's where I'm gonna put my first hole. I like to put one bolt in, attach the bracket where it's hanging, and I'm not gonna to have to fight it before I try to level it off and do the second one. Of course, all these principles are gonna apply in residential and commercial. The only variables are gonna be the construction type. Are you gonna be dealing with drywall or a cinder block? all those different types of options. For toggle bolts, we're gonna make a one half inch hole. I'm gonna to try to center it on this mark that I made. I'm gonna pull the scrap off of that. Another reason that I make one hole is in the event that I misjudged and there actually is a stud here, I'm gonna find it right now. Then I can recalculate where I'm gonna make the rest of my holes. Now we're gonna do our toggler. So again, we're just gonna fold this flush and we're gonna stick it through the hole. Metal end in, okay, and we're going to pull this straight, and we're going to pull it against the back of the wall. You want to try to pull this and turn it a little bit, just in case there's insulation in the wall, you want to make sure that that metal bar is flush against the inside of the wall. If for some reason there was an obstruction that caused that metal bar to be turned just a little bit, you're going to have an incredible problem getting this bolt to line up to the threads of the metal piece. Now there's different brands of these. I'll put an Amazon link to these in the description so that you can find them on Amazon. You can also get them at Lowe's. They used to be sold at Home Depot, but now Home Depot has switched to some other brand and that brand is terrible. The plastic breaks too easily, can't get them lined up right, but the toggler brand is the one that you want. So once you've got it in the wall, this zip ties down basically. You're gonna push this little piece and you can squeeze right here to get it into that hole and that kind of solidifies it for you. You do need to make sure you're pulling that metal as close. You want the zip to be as tight between the zip and the metal as possible. Once you've got that tight, you're just going to break it off. Now we will be able to take our bolt. We want to verify we've got it straight. So I'm able to get into that metal bracket on the back side. So I know I'm good. You want to do all that before you try to have the bracket up in the air and all that. One issue you might run into is that the toggle bolts head is kind of small. So I use a small washer. I like to know when I put this here, it's not gonna slip through those holes. Now we're gonna do the first bolt. When you're attaching this to the wall, 
You want to make sure that you're not putting a ton of pressure on this bolt because that metal piece on the inside can easily slip off of this plastic. So for the first few threads and while you're actually tightening it up, you don't want to put a ton of pressure on this with your drill or even your hands. All right, so I've got that lined up. I'm just going to stick my bolt in the hole. You want to make sure that you can tighten it by finger strength so that you know that you're lined up and everything before you really put any big torque on it. I don't want to lock this down yet because I've still got to get my level figured out and my other hole figured out. But right now, I'm going to gently let this dangle. Again, you're dealing with other people's property, so you don't want to let this scratch the wall. Get on my trusty level. The other thing you want to do is try to make sure that you're leaving this bolt centered in this opening. You don't want to push it all the way to one side or the other. You want to try to leave it in the center so you've got room to work with. And we're going to see if we can find our level. So that's our level spot. I'm going to go right in the center of this hole. I'm going to mark the top and the bottom, just like I did over here. Now, the reason I marked the top and the bottom is because if I just mark one or the other, what if I put my drill bit into that top line? then that's not going to be the same level as what this is at. So I know that I can put my drill bit right in the middle of these two lines, and that should keep me level. So I put my drill bit right between those two lines, center it, and I start my hole. I just want to get rid of the excess there so that my toggle will go in level. Grabbing my washer, my bolt, and my toggle. Step one, get the toggler in. So again, we're going to fold this where it's lined up with the plastic. Okay, we're going to pull this flush and make sure we're against the interior of the wall. Zip it down and press in with our thumbnails. And we can actually hold tension on this and try to pull it out a little bit to make sure that's zip tied down as tight as possible. We're going to break off our edges. Now we're going to attach our bolt and we're going to retest for level. as well as making sure we can actually get it threaded. We're gonna double check our level. The drill bit drifted on us or I measured something wrong. We are slightly off, but we do have room because of those bolts. You'll see there's a lift here. So if we can correct it on these bottom two, then we will be level. So I just need to go up ever so slightly. So I'm gonna mark these up and we're gonna to try to set these higher. Since I've got a couple in here that I'm not having to hold the whole bracket, hold the level, try to mark it at the same time. Top and the bottom of this hole on both sides. So I should be able to tighten this down with these new holes and fix the fact that I dropped level off just slightly on that one. Now in order to get to these holes, I'm going to have to let this pivot back down. We've got our marks. We're going to try to put this in the dead center. Pivot up so I can drill in this hole. Let's check and see if this helped us out on our level. That's about as good as it's going to get. Now, I can still lift up just slightly as I'm drilling this down and really locking it to the wall. Now I have everything finger threaded, I'm going to actually put some drill on it. But again, I don't want to push super hard because I don't want to push that bracket off on the inside. Again, I want to try to adjust just slightly for that being not quite level. Level is perfectly on. Now I can tighten everything else down. Mounting a drywall with togglers, you say, won't work. I weigh 200 ish pounds. It's not going anywhere. Bracket is in place. TV is ready to mount on the hook. And we'll get the TV mounted up. I'll show you the end result.
And voila, the finished product. Perfect for living room viewing and ready for our hutch to go underneath with all of our electronics. If you got value today, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. I've got playlists on example service calls, training on Field Nation and Work Market, as well as some tips and tricks like the ones we did today. Also check out my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I have downloads available that will help you in your Field Nation and Work Market journey. I also offer a client list to open up your world to new clients that work like Field Nation and Work Market where you can make additional income. And as always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.